watching Baby Chat TV. Well, summer's finally here, and if you're like my family, that means a trip to the beach. So I'm going to share with you my top tips for getting the family beach ready. The American Cancer Society says that skin cancer is the number one form of cancer now. So the most important thing you can do is protect your baby's delicate skin from the sun. And I have a lot of cool ways to do that. Cool of ours is this great Australian company. They make protective clothing um, to protect your baby's skin from the sun. Their fabric is woven with zinc oxide, so everything is SPF 50. I love this beach hat. The brim is wide enough to protect the ears and the neck from the sun, and it's this really bright neon yellow color. So when you're admiring the waves on the beach and the toddler toddles away, you can find them quickly in this bright yellow color. It has a soft Velcro adjustable chin strap to keep the hat on the baby's head without irritating their little um, neck. You have long sleeve protective um, shirts that are soft, they're breathable, they're easy to get on and easy to get off with matching shorts. Um, Carter's also has several really cute options. Here's some for a little girl. They Again, they're SPF 50, so they're safe. Um, long sleeve, breathable, stretchable, cute. Um, in our family, pool shoes are a must. One year, my daughter actually wore the skin off the bottom of her feet playing in the pool. But, you know, the sand at the beach is hot, there are sharp shells and rocks, and they also protect the, ch the kids' feet from the sun. So we always pack our pool shoes. I love this next item, it's so cute. They're called Babyators. They're little sunglasses for your little guy. They fit six months all the way on up to like five or six years old. They're BPA free, so when the baby takes it off and chews on it, they're not gonna get any of those harsh chemicals. They're flexible, so when the baby takes them off and tries to snap the arms off, they can't. They protect 100% protection of the UVA ray, um, UVA A and B um, rays for the eyes but they're non-polarized, which is really important because polarized sunglasses do alter your vision just a bit. And if you have a little guy who's unsteady on their feet and then they're walking on sand, you know, you want to give them the best chance possible. So I love these baby aiders. And they also have a 30-day lost or broken guarantee. Um, they will send you another pair for free, which is a great guarantee. Of course, you always want to have your um, first aid kit, your aloe vera, I always pack some bug spray because you just never know if there's going to be those little biting gnats or mosquitoes. Um, this is a great tip, the baby powder. I mean, when our kids were at the beach, they're always getting covered in sand from head to toe, and it's sticking to you, it's sticking to them, it's getting in their eyes and their mouth. If you just put a little bit of baby powder on your hand and wipe your kid down, the sand is just going to fall right off of them. It's not going to stick to anybody. I love the baby powder tip. I also have this beach buddy, you stick it in the sand, it keeps your drink and your cell phone so if you need to get in touch with somebody quickly, you know exactly where your cell phone is and it's out of the sand so it's not going to get scratched. I love these pedal jumper flotation devices. These are one of the very few um, flotation devices that are approved by the Coast Guard. Now if you're going boating, you need to have your baby in a life vest, but if you're just at the pool or at the beach, these uh, Puddle jumpers are awesome. They buckle in the back, they're clearly labeled, the arms fit here, they have these adorable patterns on them. They make them for boys and for girls. Uh, my four-year-old, she's a great swimmer, she jumps in the pool. Her one-year-old brother has no fear, he jumps in right after her, and I know if he's got this on, he's gonna pop right back out of the water and have his head above water. Again, I cannot stress this enough, never, ever, ever leave your child unattended in any amount of water your child can drown in an inch of water. So even if they have this flotation device on, you should always be right there monitoring them. Um, my, another tip, because a lot of kids when they're at the beach, they don't like the texture of the sand or the sand's too hot, the waves are too big, the salt water gets in their eyes and burns. They just aren't enjoying themselves. So I always pack a small inflatable pool. This has a nice extra feature of like a little shaded tent area. Again, another way to keep your baby protected from the sun. It's bright colors, it's fun. You blow it up, pour some seawater in there. When you're done, dump it out, deflate it, stick it back in the box and you're good to go. And I had somebody once asked me what to do if their toddler got bit, stung by a jellyfish. I thought that was such a great question. I didn't know, I'd always heard the you know myth, if you pee on them, it will make the stinging stop. But actually what happens when you're stung by a jellyfish, the stingers 
thousands of stingers stick in your skin and they keep refiring and they have found that if you rinse with fresh water it will cause the stingers to continue to fire so they found um, to rinse with seawater is is even better and if you have a driver's license or a credit card or something that you can scrape the area that was stung you can actually help scrape the stingers off the skin and they've actually found that vinegar is the most effective thing to get the stinging to stop. So if you just keep a little container of vinegar in the bottom of your pool bag just in case you're at the beach. Now some jellyfish stings are worse than others. So if you notice that your child is vomiting or having difficulty speaking, they're dizzy, they're swelling up, call 911 and seek a medical attention immediately. The other thing you can do to avoid jellyfish stings are look for notices. If you go to beaches that are guarded with lifeguards, they will many, many times, often they will have signs posted about dangerous marine life, and some beaches will even fly a purple flag, which indicates that there's dangerous marine life present. And so if you can be aware of those things, you can pretty much avoid being stung by a jellyfish. Well, those were just a few of my top tips. We'd love to hear from you, so please tweet us your best beach tips at Baby Chat TV. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.